Hey guys, welcome back again. Andrew Buckner here. So what we're going to be doing right now is doing another derivative problem using the product rule. So our problem specifically asks us to solve for the derivative, which I'm going to write in the prime form of x squared g of x prime. I'm going to rewrite this so we can see that we're taking the derivative with respect to x in a certain way, which may look familiar to us again, where I would just put d over dx, do those brackets again, of x squared multiplied by g of x. So what I see here is that I've got a product of two functions again. So in order for me to do that, I have to choose the product rule, believe it or not. It states it's in its name. So I'm gonna then just going to write down the product rule again like I did in one of the previous videos where what the product rule will state is I've got the derivative with respect to x of two functions here. We're going to have f of x and g of x, which coincidentally for our problem, we do have a g of x, so it's, it's very helpful for us. So what this tells us is that I'm going to take the, the keep the first constant here. So I'm going to have my f of x multiplied by the derivative of the second, pro the, the second function here, my g of x. And then I'm going to be adding that to the derivative of the first function here multiplied by the original second function, g of x. So again, these primes just show that I'm taking the derivative of this function, but we're going to now apply this to our problem over here. So I'm going to then write it out so that we notice that I'm taking the derivative. So I'm just going to have x squared here, but notice how I'm keeping that constant here. And then now I'm taking that multiplied by g prime of x, Adding that to, I'm going to put in brackets here so you can see that I'm taking the derivative of my x squared here, or my first function, the prime, and then multiplying that by the g of x original function here. So one thing I notice here that I have to take the derivative of this, which I may not know how to do. So honestly, that's just a power rule problem. And what the power rule tells us for derivatives, so I have the derivative with respect to x of an x function here. All I'm doing is I'm taking whatever's in the denominator, so I'm going to have an n. All I'm doing is multiplying that n. I'm taking the minus, so I'm subtracting one from it and then pulling this original n out in front, which essentially I'm going to do here for my product rule answer. So for my final answer here, I'm going to have x squared multiplied by g of x prime, or g prime of x, if however you say that. Then I'm going to do that, pro then do that power rule here. So I'm going to have that 2x g of x multiplied together as my final answer for this, for this problem here. One thing to be careful with doing is making sure that yes, you can flip-flop them. However, that's the only reason is we can do that is because we have a addition sign here. If it was a subtraction sign, we'd have to make sure that those signs carry over, which could really drastically change the problem in a way. Thanks, guys, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.